All right. Just noticing some very strange with uh, some binding. So currently I've got this hair model. I'll turn the other one off quickly. I've got this hair model, and uh, it's bound to that skeleton below. And it's all good. It's in frame one. It's in the T pose. If I select both and I go export selection, I'm just going to dump it there. You'll see that it exports just fine. It's got two errors, but that's just saying uh, that some values have changed, but it won't affect the animation curves. Okay, not values, but uh, the way it's been interpreted. Um, you, it's it's not going to actually affect the animation, but uh, uh, yeah, it won't affect the animation curves. Okay, so the the these are quite consistent. Uh, Little warnings. I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call them errors. Little warnings that come up. Okay, so that's that's good. It's, I'm happy with that. Now, <laughs> let's let's hide that. Uh, let's let's um, show this here. Right. That's another um, mesh, and um, I'm just going to go and delete by type and non-deform history. I'm going to modify, freeze transforms. Okay. So I'm going to select this mesh. Well, first I want to shift click on that, expand the whole tree, then shift click to the bottom, select it all, select this mesh, skin, bind skin. Okay, nothing unusual about that. Select the new hair, select the skeleton, export selection, select that dump file there, this is a test. Let's see how it exports. All right, it gives an actual, uh, well, those, <laughs> those, yeah, it gives a warning, so it's not an error, but um, it's una unable to find a bind pose. Okay. All right. So the thigh. All of a sudden, the thigh is a problem. We can't find a bind pose for the thigh. Yet we just used that same skeleton just a moment ago. So that's disturbing. Okay. Um, fine. So we just go back to the original here. Select the skeleton and do an export again, just to make sure. Like, just test everything. What's going on? Let's just repeat what we just did. And you'll see the first hair. Hmm. Interesting it exports with no error or no warning but the second one does um, let's try something quickly if I click on this hair and I go skin unbind skin let's go to the original hair and go to the skeleton and go export selection and now we're getting that error um, on the normal hair as well so now the normal hair is getting the error at the moment. We unbound the second uh, mesh, the second hairstyle. So this second hairstyle causes an error for itself. But while it's still bound, it doesn't cause an error for the first hairstyle. But when I un unbind that, the first hairstyle also gets an error. So rather annoying. And um, I'm going to press pause here and see if I can figure this out. And then we'll return with hopefully a solution. Okay, so it seems like the error was sitting with uh, which bones were selected. So I'm just going to move this new hairstyle up, just the middle mouse it up. That, that's not going to solve anything, but let's just do that. Uh, I'm going to rename it as well, just to hair D. Okay, so I'm going to shift s click on the plus, expand the tree, and I'm looking for the neck. There's the neck. Okay, so there's the head. So I want the head, hair, hair, and hair. Those three bones. And I want to select hair D. So I only want those three bones to impact hair D. So I only have those selected when I select hair D. Ah, oh, middle mouse. No, which just dragged it into the... What? Okay. So there, hair D. And I just want... I'm just going to... That middle mouse just threw everything off. So I'm going to select um, head, hair 2 hair one and hair two so that's left and right um, bangs and the model okay so just those bones and the model and if I go skin bind skin close that and we go file export selection dump it there the test file we'll see that it, it comes back with just the normal two warnings and the third warning is gone and these two warnings are completely harmless. So it was down to just selecting the bones 
that directly impact the hair and not worrying about any of the other bones because that seems to be how hair A was done. Okay, so solution was found. Okay, so I want to backtrack. Let's see if it breaks anything. Skin, unbind skin. Okay. Alright, so I don't want that hair bound to anything. I'm just going to test the first hair again just to make sure it's still working because I have seen things break in the past. See if it still exports fine. Yep, just the, the, the tangent errors, uh, warnings, not errors. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the blend shape for this one. Just to double check that nothing is breaking. So there's the blend shape. And we'll select the blend shape, select my hair model. Um, let me just make sure I'm going to edit, delete by type, non deformity history, modify freeze transforms okay so I select my blend shape I go to hair D and I go deform create blend shape there's my settings create okay now mm, one thing you gotta remember we just gotta go back to hair A and skin and go to bind skin so always go to bind pose um, just before you bind anything it seems to jump out of place. I think it jumped out of place when we did the unbind. Oh no, actually when we imported the blend shape, uh, hair blend shape, it, it lost that. So, all right, so that's fine. So if we go to hair, um, I'm gonna hide this. Here. So we go to hair D, if we go under windows, animators, shape editor, we will be able to see that the blend shape is working just fine. So that's, we wanna put a hat on the hair it just decreases the hair's volume. So now we do what we did earlier. We just go find head and the three hair bones. We select that um, mesh and we go bind skin. Let's see if it exports now. Select the mesh, select the, the skeleton, export selection, hair D test. Export, please don't have three warnings. Oh, just the two. All right. So even now, we it's it's working where you want to. And what I do then is while it's still in the right frame and still in the bind pose, I select the original hair. I select the new hair, and I go skin, copy skin weights. There's a, bit of a whole bunch of weight painting that goes onto this hair, just to make it operate nicer. And then I, I'll go in um, once I show. Let me just see if that works. Still, make sure everything's working. Export selection. All right, still just those two tangent warnings, which is great. That that's means it's all working well. Now I would go and enable the body and go to certain keyframes where I know it's, there's errors. Not errors, but where I would want it improved. Um, we'll see now she takes a photo of herself or social animation and I would go and uh, fix that up where is that come on where's your little selfie animation am I going too fast Okay, I'm going too fast here. Yeah. yeah. So let's just press play. But yeah, at the end of the day, it looks like it was that the error was coming from where I wasn't, I was binding the hair to the entire skeleton instead of the specific bones. Okay, but um, let's just have a look. There is an, a little error that I pick up normally and I'll have to go fix that. Yeah, you can see it there already. But uh, when she takes a selfie of herself is when it really shows up. And then I just go in and do some weight painting there just to fix it up. Let's hope I haven't gone too far. Uh, might have gone too far. Yeah. Where is that? There it is. Now you can see, um, even though I've copied the weights from hair A to D, hair A hasn't got the same bangs on each side. 
So I would then go into paint skin weights and go and fix this up uh, in a way that, yep. Yeah. So I would go and transition that nicely um, by just changing the value of those weights. It's currently, I think, on 100%. And then I go down to like 80 and then 60 and 40. Um, I just turn off the riders model when I do that. And then I'll go clean that up. And then I also, um, for this model, uh, add to that bone there. I make these 100%, um, which just looks like that. Um, I paint these 100% quite high up, just so that the long hair doesn't clip into the body. But that's beside the point. That's not what this video is for. This video is just to show you that um, what was causing the error. So if you encounter errors like that, just select specific um, bones uh, and not the whole skeleton. All right. All of the best. Ciao.